Next, let's talk about how to customize the column quick filters within the Amatop product analyzer. As you can see here at the very top row here, in the header row, you'll find these little drop downs with all these different filter preset filters in there. These are the uh, customized quick filters. So, for example, in the main rank, say you only want to see ranks greater than 500, click that, it'll automatically do the uh, filter. If you want to see the filter, you can click filters, show filters, and you can see it right here. So, if we select another quick filter, it'll automatically apply it here. And we can quickly remove filters by going to the quick the filter button at the bottom and then select delete filters like that. But there are times when, when uh, people love using these quick filters but find one in there that doesn't quite fit their needs so they want to add their own. So we've provided a way of doing that in the settings window. So if you click the settings button here, the software settings button on the top um, main menu, you see a little cog window or a little a gear I guess it's called. Click that and bring up the settings and then there's three tabs the tab that says column quick filters in here is just a basically a, a notepad in here and you can define the quick filters for each column now there's only the only columns that contain numerical data can have quick filters so there's no quick filters for um, text columns that contain text like the category product ID title main category if you want to specify your own filters for those particular um, columns and all you have to do is just create that filter yourself in the show filters here you can grab the column title compare type and add whatever text you want in there so like say you put the word grill and then you can apply then you can also save your filters so if you want to save them so let's go ahead and just remove all those so the quick filters will only apply to columns that contain numerical data. So if you want to customize those in the settings, you do it in here. And the formatting for this is uh, very specific and has to be exact. So you put the column title, a colon, and then a space, and then the word greater, less, or equal so only one of those words will work here so you can only do a greater than or a equal or a less than filter then you do the course you gotta do a space and then you gotta do the corresponding symbol and then another space and then the number and you could see that for each um, for each column there it's separated by a space so that's important too so I make sure there's a space in between each column and so let's let's just try to find one here um, So say for example you want to add another filter or you can remove them all if you want just add the ones you want. Um, for the main rank let's just add it to the end here. The best way to do that is just copy one line that's already there. So let's just copy the last line. So select it, left mouse button, right click and then copy. Then I'm just going to put the cursor here and hit the enter key to make a new line. Then I'm going to right click and paste and then do what you want to do here. So let's go ahead and change greater to less and we also have to change the sign there to less than sign and let's say I don't know less than 500 just for example and we can also do another one so I'm gonna go control C on my I'm sorry control V on my keyboard to paste what was copied to my clipboard let's try another one where it's equal let's say equal to I don't know 50 <laughs> something like that click done and if we go to the main rank those two items should be added automatically there they are so if we apply that so there there it is that works really well and if you right click I'm just going to remove the filters and then if we want to try equal 50 and there was none that equal 50 so right click filters uh, delete filters and so if we don't want that filter again go ahead and just delete them or you can just hit the defaults button right here. You can also save your quick filters settings file. You just simply click file, save quick filters to file, and then you can save it. And if you go and check out that file, quick filters here, it's just a text file showing 
um, the different quick filters are defined in the software so you can go ahead and modify those inside a text file if you don't want to do it inside the software and again you have to make sure that the actual column um, headline header the at the very top of the column there the column title is what I'm trying to say is exactly the same as a column title in the software so you can see you can actually move the columns you can you can make them larger by hovering your mouse in between the column and you see that little icon change your cursor will change and then you can move and you can see exactly what it is like main category again you can only do the columns that have numerical data in them So again, the quick filters are just used for quickly doing some, some uh, filtering that you want to do really, really quick. And if you want to do more advanced filtering, then uh, we suggest using the filters, show filters, and using this window here and defining your filters. You can, you can do a lot more in here than just the quick filters. You can search or you can filter through the text, um, the columns that contain text, not just numerical data. And you can do all sorts of different things like, um, you know, if you go to rank the compare types you can do equal greater than less than greater or equal to less or equal to not equal to so there's a lot more um, options available but in this video we just want to show you that you can actually customize these quick filters this was an option that um, customers really wanted so uh, we've added in in the latest version thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video